Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Central Connecticut State University's 169th Commencement Exercises. My name is Dr. Joseph Page, Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs. Our ceremony will begin with the procession of students and faculty, which steps off in about five minutes. Today's ceremony is a very special occasion for you and your graduate. During the course of the program, each student will come forward to be greeted by the president their respective dean, and every graduate's name will be announced. Just a reminder, with the exception of media representatives, photographers, and video cameras are not permitted on the Coliseum floor. The university has engaged graduation images as the official photographer of the graduates if they cross the stage and are greeted by the president. You will receive proofs of this photo directly from the company. Only the official university photographers will be permitted on the Coliseum floor. Finally, I'll ask everyone to turn off or silence their cell phones for the duration of the ceremony. Once again, welcome, and we will be getting started shortly.
Thank you. 
Good afternoon. Please be seated. I'm Stephen Cohen, President, uh, Professor and Chair of the Department of English and President of the Faculty Senate. President Toro, the degree candidates from the School of Education and Professional Studies, the School of Business, and their faculty having assembled, I declare these commencement exercises open. Thank you, Professor Cohen. Welcome, everyone. I am proud and excited to be here. I hope you are too. To honor guests, faculty, staff, family, and friends, thank you for joining us here today to make this a very special celebration for our graduates. The Chamber Winds, under the direction of Professor Erin Cooper, performed our processional music this afternoon. Please join me in thanking them. <laughs> we now begin with the posting of the colors by members of the Central Connecticut State University Police Department. The university singers, under the, the direction of Professor Drew Collins, will perform the national anthem. If everyone will please rise,
please be seated. I am now pleased to call upon Dr. Dave Dunwalder, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, who will preside over this ceremony. Dr. Dunwalder serves as the Senior Officer for All Academic Affairs, Faculty and Academic Support Activities. This is his first commencement ceremony with CCSU, and we are excited to have him as part of the family. Provost Do Walder. Thank you, President Toro. I'm very pleased to be here. This is Central's 169th year in higher education, an amazing history. We were the first and oldest public institution of higher education in Connecticut. Just think about all who have come before us. We've gathered to celebrate the achievements of over 2,800 graduate and undergraduate students who are eligible to receive degrees this year. Earlier today, we presented diplomas to students from the Ammon College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences and from the School of Engineering, Science, and Technology. Now it's your turn. Candidates from the School of Education and Professional Studies and from the School of Business. We are proud that 95% of this graduating class are Connecticut residents. This class also represents 31 states and 23 countries. We're going to take a moment to recognize the university's leadership team who will not otherwise be named. I ask that you hold your applause until the end of the introductions. Representing Central Connecticut State University's leadership, Dr. Peter Troiano, Interim Vice President for Student Affairs. They missed the instructions. <laughs> Rosa Rodriguez, Chief Diversity Officer. Anna Suski Lenshevsky, Chief Human Resources Officer. Carolyn Magnan, University Council. Dr. Brian Summers, Interim Dean of the Carol Ammon College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, and Giswath Kremens, Interim Dean of the School of Engineering, Science, and Technology. Now the applause. Thank you. Central Connecticut State University is a vibrant, learner-centered community dedicated to teaching and scholarship. CCSU serves a population of nearly 12,000 students, full and part-time, graduate and undergraduate, matriculating and continuing education students. Here to bring greetings on behalf of our graduate students is Jennifer Lavoie, who will receive a Master of Arts degree in English. Jennifer? Thank you. In 2003, I attended CCSU as an undergraduate to fulfill my dream of becoming a teacher. I knew that CCSU was the best place for me because of their stellar reputation and teaching program. In 2008, I graduated with my Bachelor of Science in Secondary English Education with a minor in Japanese. When I decided in 2013 that it was time to start my master's, program, master's degree program, I knew the only school I would consider was CCSU because of the strong education I had received as an undergraduate, as well as the strong bonds I had formed with several members of the English department. I know that many students here have also formed close relationships with professors within their own department. And for me, there are three professors who have helped me become the person I am today. Dr. Nunn, Dr. Pazorski, and Dr. Capella have seen me at my best and my worst. Even when I wanted to give up on myself, they would not give up on me. CCSU allows students to move along their chosen path at their own pace. Professors are there to guide us on that journey. 
Because of my experiences at this school, I have already achieved so many of my life's goals and have had opportunities presented to me that I never could have imagined. In February this year, my first scholarly article was published along with those of my classmates in an anthology on women in modern American literature through Cambridge Scholars Publishing. My work on AIDS narratives that came from yet another class allowed me to attend the Northeast Modern Language Association Conference in 2017. Not only did this paper become the foundation for my thesis, but it also allowed me to connect with Lexington Books, and along with Dr. Pazorski, I have signed a contract to help edit a collection of AIDS writing set to be published in 2020. Furthermore, my dreams of becoming a published author were fulfilled in 2012 when my first young adult novel, Andy Squared, was published by Bold Strokes Books. This novel would not have been written had it not been for the encouragement of Dr. Capella and my classmates. CCSU is a school that helps students realize their full potential. The connections we make here as undergraduates and graduates will last a lifetime. Our professors guide us not only in our courses, but they also help shape our futures. I know that without CCSU, my professors, the friendships and connections I made, I would not be the person I am today. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer, and congratulations on your success in becoming a published author. To hear how vital connections with your professors contributed to your growth and success gives me a sense of pride in our university. Now here to bring greetings on behalf of our undergraduate students is class president Sadina Bijak. She, she double majored in management and economics. Sadina? My time at CCSU can be told through an excerpt from Milk and Honey. Nothing even matters except love and human connection, who you loved and how deeply you loved them, how you touched the people around you and how much you gave them. CCSU gave me so much life that I never knew was possible. I never knew I would become this person that I am today when I was 17. I promised myself that I would take all the opportunities that CCSU could offer me and become someone I could look up to, and I did. I've learned to use my resources around me, speak up for myself, and what I believe in, as well as taking on leadership opportunities in higher education that I never thought was possible. Throughout the course of life, and especially college, we all meet and have met many people, either a good or bad experience. The, the experiences will always be there, the lessons have been learned, and the memories are forever ingrained into us. What we must hope for is to cherish the memories forever and learn from the people that came into our lives. I gave Central a chance, and Central brought into my life so many people here that I never imagined I would connect with, and that's made me open up my eyes. The people I met were a fresh breath of air, just because everyone we meet has a different perspective on life and a different lesson to add to your life. From the places I've been, such as studying abroad in Ireland, conferences and retreats, I have never been more thankful for Central. To all the people I've met, whether students or staff who have encouraged me to double major, thank you. CCSU has seen so many of my downfalls, and a majority of them, and the majority of the time, someone I've never met has helped me in some ways, in more ways than one. It's that culture that I appreciate about the school so much. I heard some heartbreaking news a couple months ago, and at one of my lowest points in college, I ended up crying on the bathroom floor in the girls' room. It's the fact that I could be sitting on the bathroom floor and that these strangers that I've never met before sat there with me and helped me get through it. We all have so many people to be thankful for. A big thank you to the Student Government Association, the Business School and the Buddies group chat, the Econ Department and Club, to my family for always encouraging me to travel and succeed, and to my best friend Diana. Thank you for being my biggest supporter in any route that I decided to go with. <laughs> I know we'll all, be, we'll all be celebrating tonight, so if you make that toast, make that toast to CCSU and all the people you met. In the end, it is the people that we meet that save us, but also push us to be the very best that we can be. Thank you. Sadina, thank you for sharing your very touching story with us. It's all about the connections we make in life, isn't it? Both of you spoke about the connections you have made with our faculty, a feeling that I'm sure is shared by a great number of the students graduating today. Therefore, I'd like to ask the faculty to please rise and be recognized for the work you do every day for our students.
Thank you. Please be seated. Deepening connections to our history, to our community, to each other is one of the top priorities for President Zulma R. Toro since her arrival at Central in 2017. She often refers to the university community as the CCSU family, taking inspiration from Central's tradition of inclusion, community outreach, and strong student support from faculty and staff. As the university's 13th president, Dr. Toro is the first female and first Hispanic president. She quickly set forth to maintain academic excellence, increase enrollment, develop new sources of revenue, and deepen CCSU's engagement with surrounding community, and her list of goals and challenges is growing by leaps and bounds, and she's really ready to talk to you as well right now. So please welcome President Toro back to the podium. Thank you. Thank you, Provost Do Walder. This is my favorite day of the year. I could not be more proud of you, our graduates, and of the faculty and staff and administrators who have made contributions to your successes. Please join me again in recognizing and expressing our appreciation to the faculty and staff of CCSU. And then there is the crucial support that comes from family and friends. So before we move on, let's recognize them. I am asking our graduates to stand, look around to find someone who has been in rock during the tough times or given you the push or support you need to make it to this point. Please. Please be seated. <clears throat> next, next, I would like I would like you to take a step back in time. Think back to when you started your academic journey at CCSU. Think of the hours you invested and the sacrifices you made to transform yourself into the professional and the individual attending this ceremony today. You should always remember that to hold a college degree is a distinction the majority of our citizens cannot claim. So rest assured that the time and effort you devoted to obtain this distinction is truly a remarkable achievement. Today, you begin a new journey. Perhaps you are joining the workforce or advancing your career. Maybe you are going to spend a year abroad or pursue a graduate or doctoral degree. Our STEAM faculty and devoted staff have provided you the necessary knowledge and tools and facilitated the development of skills to foster your success. No matter where you go, you will always have what it will take to meet the challenges you may face. You now have the unique education that distinguishes a CCSU graduate. And the connections with our faculty and staff that have fostered your transformation. You are a broadly educated individual, culturally aware ready to contribute as a thoughtful and engaged citizen and as an active participant in, in our democratic processes. Judging from the successes of 
so many of our alumni who go on to do meaningful work in their fields and make significant contributions to their communities, I know we at CCSU are on to something good. As the oldest publicly funded institution of higher education in Connecticut, we are connected to our history by our tradition of educating the sons and daughters of the working class of our state and serving as the key to social mobility to all of our citizens. Class of 2018, thank you for allowing us to continue our tradition. Thank you for being part of our history. We are proud to have a network of our about over 72,000 alumni in Connecticut. They are excellent collaborators and thoughtful members of society, willing to consider the perspective of others and to respectfully offer help when it is needed. Oftentimes, they return to campus to lend their expertise. And I am asking you, members of, cl of the class of 2018, to do the same. Come back to see us. I have no doubt that the drive and commitment that have brought you this far will serve you well as you begin your new journey. Know that your central family is here to help in any way we can and that we want to hear from you about your successes. So I urge you all to dream big and be fearless. Be generous in offering your special talents to the world. I know we all will be better for it. Who better to inspire big dreams and fearless decision making than one of this university's most impressive and successful entrepreneurs. We are about to present an honorary degree, one of this university's highest honors to Charles Forty. Originally from Hartford, Mr. Forty attended Central from 1969 to 1971. He is considered one of the foremost authorities and innovators in electronic payment systems. He is the former chairman and CEO of First Data, one of the largest debit and credit card transaction processors, and is currently founder and chief executive officer of Fotec Group. I am pleased to call forward Mr. Charles Foley, and I invite Provost Doe Walter and Vice President for Institutional Advancement, Christopher Galligan, to join me. Mr. Galligan, could you please read the citation presenting our, our honorary degree candidate, Mr. Foley? Thank you, President Toro. Charles T. Foti, soon to be Dr. Foti, your contributions to the business world have not only revolutionized the electronic payment industry, but they have served as excellent case studies in business innovation for our students. A review of your distinguished career illustrates the leadership and ingenuity we strive to instill in our business students. In your 30 years with First Data Corp, you rose from Vice President of Finance and Planning with American Express Money Order Division to President and Chief Operating Officer of the Corporation, ultimately transforming an $11 million U.S. division into a $12 billion global enterprise. Though you retired in 2005, you soon discovered that you had more to offer your industry and a new generation of entrepreneurs. 
When you founded the FoTech Group in 2009, you sought to become the world's leading payment system and mobile wallet solution guided by humility, integrity, appreciation, and traditional values. Once again, your approach cultivated success, and the FoTech Group continued, continues to do business with customers around the world. And yet, your work is still ongoing. With your service to numerous boards of directors and your charity work, of which CCSU is a grateful beneficiary. While you still serve as chair of the Accredited Technologies, Inc. and payphone boards, and as an active member of the Business Council, you also manage the Fodi Family Foundation and serve on the, pro on the board of Project Cure, a nonprofit humanitarian relief organization. Meanwhile, you have wisely invested in your family in more ways than one. Beyond the love and support you have given your children and grandchildren over the years, you have also shared your business acumen with your family. From your assistance in helping your son to launch a corn and soybean farm, to naming your daughter Christy, Vice President of the FoTech Group and beyond, you made those closest to you, you made sure those closest to you would have the confidence and wherewithal to break new ground in business. Through it all, you have remained a dedicated member of the Central Family. From your guest lectures and panel appearances in the School of Business to your Family Scholarship Fund, our students continually benefit from your professional wisdom and foresight. Naturally, in 2017, you received the Friend of the University Award for your distinguished leadership and service to CCSU. In recognition of your remarkable career as an entrepreneur, executive, and philanthropist, Central Connecticut State University is honored to present you for the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Connecticut Board of Regents for Higher Education, I confer upon you the degree Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, and invest you with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereunto. In token thereof, I award you the diploma and I direct that you be presented with the hood appropriated appropriate to your degree. Congratulations, Dr. The first thing I, 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 I have to say is I want to thank uh, Chris Galligan, Dr. Gallen, for that great introduction. Um, I wrote it, so I want to let you know it was uh, <clears throat> um, I want to uh, tell you today a few things, but I want to tell you first that my education at Central gave me a strong foundation for a successful career in business. The school is truly a great school. You should all feel very proud of your accomplishments at this university. When I came here, there were two buildings. So uh, there's been tremendous growth in the infrastructure of this institution. Congratulations to all of you on this special day. You have all earned your seat in this auditorium, so you should all be very proud of yourselves. I want to thank President Toro, the Board of Regents, along with uh, Vice President Galligan, for inviting me here today. I'm humbled and honored to receive 
this degree. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all very, very much. You were part of the university, so thanks a lot. <clears throat> now, I got to tell you what happened. When I mentioned to uh, my I have a little Italian in me, if you haven't noticed it yet. And when I mentioned to my family that I was going to receive this award today, um, they get very proud. And you have to know Italians can get a little pushy. So as it turned out, my charming wife of 35 years, Kaylin, told them about the event. And what happens in a, with a group of Italians, they just take over. And over 20 of them showed up today from all over the country. So I want to welcome them all. And <clears throat> um, my kids, Justin and Chrissy, are here with their spouses, Lee and Sean. I have eight of our 14 grandchildren here with us. I'll give them to you, Ellen, Colton, Abby, Jacob, Justin. I got a couple of Italians in there by name called Angelia, Giovanni, and Alessandra. And uh, I have six others in Houston. They couldn't be here today, but they're well represented by the family. I'd also like to thank my brother John and his um, family for showing up today. He's a, he's a very good friend and a lasting friend, as well as he's been a great brother. Graduates, as you close this chapter of your lives and move on to the next, many people will provide you with inspirational and motivational talks. If you're like the rest of us, especially myself, you'll listen to some of what they say and you'll throw the rest out. So I hope I can capture your attention for a few minutes today and hope you walk away with a couple of items that you remember as you begin your careers. I'm going to share with you a few do's and don'ts uh, based on my experience in, as, as a business leader. First, a little about me. I grew up in Connecticut. I worked at Central, at Connecticut Bank and Trust in the credit card division before MasterCard and Visa were even invented. I was attending college while working at the bank. First Data was a very successful company. Um, hold on a second, I flipped a couple pages. Um, <clears throat> from the bank, I went up to Boston, where I became manager of the credit card division of a small bank called Framingham Trust Company. There I worked my way up to vice president of the bank, and we were growing in size of the credit card group, so we had to hire a large processing company, and that was First Data. And then you know the rest of the story. They recruited me, and I moved to Atlanta in 1975 to open their first operating branch. After that, I was transferred to San Francisco to open up our second operating branch, and then I was transferred uh, around the country seven or eight more times. I hope I uh, can capture your attention for a few minutes um, as, a, as I go through a, a, little, a little history. First Data was a very successful company, and while I was there, it was sold to American Express for $87 million in 1980. It was then bought back and sold to the public in 1984 for about $3 billion. I was promoted to COO, then CEO in the late 90s and early 2000s. When I retired in 2005, we had a market value of close to $40 billion, 36,000 employees, enlisted as a Fortune 250 company. For sure, it was a successful company. Over the years, we hired thousands of people. Unfortunately, I had to fire a few too. And concentrating on those 36,000 employees is what kept me up at night. A company is its people. A successful company is one that is built on recruiting the most talented workforce available from the marketplace. 
Although there were 36,000 folks, you have to, you know, we had to concentrate on all individuals because we're all very unique. And as you sit here today, let me tell you that all of you are these people. You are part of that recruitment base. This is an exciting time for you. You have and own the power to create your personal blueprint of your life, of the life you want. So you have the power and you own that life. No, make no mistake about it, it's your responsibility and obligation to create the answer and then execute on strategic activities which will allow you to get to the answer. Let me share a few ideas with you. You have to own it. No one else owns it. You're in big groups all the time, and you look around, but you own your future. Own your success. No one else is going to give it to you. You have to earn it, and you have to create an environment where you can be successful. You're in charge. You're going to face a lot of opportunities. Take advantage of them as you go along. Whatever you focus on, sales, uh, you're going to want to be a salesperson, a nurse, a doctor, a marketing consultant, a small business owner, etc. Focus on exceeding the strategic variables, on executing the strategic variables that will get you to your ultimate goal. Part of owning it is to find a job. You need to get in front of potential employers. Stay away from phone interviews because no one's ever been hired uh, over the phone. During your per in person interviews, be, sh be sure to be yourself because phoniness is seen through immediately. Don't be cocky. The person interviewing you is smarter than you are. And if you don't believe me, ask them. Network with folks in the area you are interested in. For example, Use Google to find out about next uh, networking events. Ask your school advisors how they can help get you with alumni and companies who you can network with. Meet with potential employers for 30 minutes or less. Look at them in the eye and tell them what you want, but also be interviewing them as well. Be sure to understand what you're hearing. After the, uh, after the interview, send a handwritten thank you note. Don't send email. Make sure it's a handwritten note. Ownership is extremely important. It's important for personal relationships, marriages for one, being a mother or father, and for sure in your career. Secondly, I tell you to suck it up. As you enter into the workforce, you may not get the job you most desire but your foot is in the door. You are probably not making as much money as you desired. And that's okay, especially if you're in a position where you can be promoted from. You might have to drive an over car for a while, eat hot dogs and beans, or tighten up on social activities, but that's okay too. As you move up the ladder in your organization, your compensation will increase, and you'll be able to appreciate even more of the newer car, a ribeye steak, and an expanded social life. My last thought is don't go into debt early on in your career. It's, it sounds like some of you already got there, but... <clears throat> debt is, is not something you need uh, as you start out. Once in your job, act aggressively. If you truly want to be a leader, work hard and forget an eight to five day. Learn as much as you can, take on extra projects, and associate yourself, this is important, associate yourself with fellow employees who share your business objectives. Do the best you can. Don't worry about keeping your job. Worry about doing your job and the success will come. Be authentic and real. When you're working, be yourself. Don't kiss up 
or change the way you are to get a, to get a new job or a promotion. People see right through it. Companies need employees with different interests, perspectives, and most importantly, companies want employees with integrity and character. Don't do something because you were following the most popular belief at the time. Be original. Your own mind and facts, use uh, your own mind and facts to formulate your opinions. And communicate. In a, in a, communicate in a good way all the time. Communication is extremely important in whatever you do on a go-forward basis. Always, and I mean always, no exceptions, communicate how you feel or think about your objectives so that your customers and your partners know what your end game is. Be honest when communicating with prospects and customers, for at the end of the day, you're always looking for a long-term business relationship. Let me tell you that long-term relationships, personally and commercially, are built on trust. So never give up. You're only as good as your word. And by the way, always act based on what you've said. Deception in relationships will only work once. Your success will come from, uh, will come from being honest. Always remember to do what you say. And let me share a story with you about integrity, or in this case, the lack of integrity. In 1994, I was working on a uh, Dubai company for about uh, seven billion dollars, and we were meeting uh, because it was public. We were both public companies, and Wall Street was heavily involved. We used to meet in a secret room on top of the Chrysler Building, the Chrysler Tower in Manhattan. And one day, uh, I was with the executives from the from the company we were trying to acquire, and they told me a story. We had a forty million dollar issue that we were arguing about. And now this is in perspective, it's put in perspective, we're talking about a $7 billion transaction. So 40 wasn't a big deal, but it was certainly, 40 million is a lot of money. So <clears throat> we were arguing about one, one uh, financial issue that was critical to the company. Two weeks later, uh, we break and we separate, and two weeks later we meet again in this secret room, and uh, I said, uh, they brought up the $40 million issue, and they had lied about what they said two weeks before. And I said to the, the, uh, the chairman of the other company, I said, you just lied, because that's not what you said two weeks ago. And his lawyer stood up, pounded the table, and said, you can't call my client a liar. And I said, well, two weeks ago, you were standing next to him, so you're a liar too. So integrity is so important. And by the way, so you know, I blew up the deal because I didn't know what else they lied about other than the 40 million. Final, finally, I want to leave you with this as you go through life. You are successful graduates. You now own your degrees. You've worked hard to get to where you are. Your parents, your family and friends are very proud of all of you. And let me assure you that this school <clears throat> and the trustee group are very proud of each one of you and your accomplishments. I know from the time that I spent with her, your outstanding President Toro is also proud of each one of you. I think we owe her a round of applause for the job she's done here at this school. You should also be proud of yourselves and of each other, for you are your own community. May your next safe steps in life be well guided by yourselves. And uh, thanks for letting me to be with you, uh, letting me be here with you today. May God bless each and every one of you. My personal best wishes to best wishes to all of you. Your education at this great school has given you a strong foundation 
So please, go forward and conquer the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Foti, for your inspiring, entertaining, and insightful thoughts. You didn't want to sing? You gonna pass on the sing? Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute, here we go. I only know the first lines any song I sing, so. And they got me going last night. <clears throat> everyone to please rise and join in the singing of the alma mater led by the university singers. You'll find the lyrics on page 33 of your program. Following al our alma mater, turn your attention to the jumbotron. This year we are graduating our first students in our bachelors of science in dance education and we dedicated the Catherine J. Fellows Dance Center. In celebration of these milestones we hope you'll enjoy a brief glimpse of the work our dance students create. The musical score they will be performing to is an original work composed by Francesco Blackmore, a CCSU music student pursuing a Bachelor of Arts in Music with a concentration in theory and composition, who will accompany the video on piano. So first, we sing the alma mater, and then please look at the jumbotron. Let us praise her glorious name, Alma Mater, blue and white. Gather round the sacred flame of Alma Mater's nurturing light. Holy wonder from the side, in our hearts she'll ever abide. Let her sons and 
Please be seated. Today, we award degrees to graduate and undergraduate students who have completed their academic requirements. These students have achieved the rigorous standard of excellence required for their degrees. In addition, and as a symbol of their achievement, CCSU is very proud to recognize the 414 undergraduate students who are graduating with distinction. These graduates are wearing a gold cord, which symbolizes academic excellence. The grade point averages for the various levels of distinction are shown in your programs. Today, we pay honor to all these very special students, beginning with the graduate students from the School of Education and Professional Studies, and then the graduate students from the School of Business. We will then proceed with the undergraduate students from those two schools who will be receiving degrees today. Although we are about to begin the lengthiest part of our program, it's the most important, and this is the part of the program where we recognize each candidate by name, and therefore we ask for your respectful attention during this part of the ceremony. I will call Dr. Toro back to the podium. Provost Do Walter, it is time to duly recognize each student of the CCSU class of 2018. President Toro, it's my privilege to present the candidates for the degrees from the School of Education and Professional Studies, the School of Business, and the School of Graduate Studies. Degrees are awarded upon certification of completion of degree requirements established by the respective faculties and the Faculty Senate. Will all the candidates rise? Yes, stand. Good. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Connecticut Board of Regents for Higher Education, by law, and on the recommendation of the faculty of Central Connecticut State University, it is my privilege to confer academic degrees on the candidates of the class of 2018. As these degrees are conferred, let it be understood that each candidate is also the recipient of all rights, responsibilities, and obligations appertaining to the degree. I hereby confer on each of you the degree under which your name appears in the printed program. You may be seated until your college is escorted by the marshals to the stage. President Toro, it is my honor to present to you the candidates for the degree Doctor of Education. The Dean of the School of Graduate Studies, Dr. Glennis Fitzgerald, will join you in recognizing the candidates. They will be hooded by their respective faculty advisors. For the degree Doctor of Education, Dr. Mary Marquetta Dawson Thompson, and standing in for her advisor, Dr. Sheldon Watson. For the degree Doctor of Education, Dr. Ryan Patrick Dolan, and his advisor, Dr. Nancy Hoffman. For the degree 
Doctor of Education, Dr. Lauren I. Loomis Davern, and her advisor, Dr. Nancy Hoffman. For the degree, for the degree Doctor of Education, Dr. Eileen Francis O'Neill and her advisor, Dr. James Conway. For the degree, Doctor of Education, Dr. Lene Jackson Smith and her advisor, Dr. Yan Liu. Congratulations to the doctoral candidates. It's my honor to present to you the candidates for the sixth year certificate from the School of Education and Professional Studies. Dean Fitzgerald will join you, President Toro, in recognizing the candidates. Shatana Aletha DeRosi. Diana Rose DePietro. Melissa Nicole Lawton. Amaret Mary Bianchi. Luz Enid Rivera Rodriguez. Suzanne Prince. Jessica Whittle Faderman. Mano Zumbaum. Kristen Lee Oliverio. Dana Joseph Gagne. Catherine Goodie. Dana Catherine Martin. Cache Lorraine Green. Robert Allen Govain. Jana Victoria Coal Volpe. Christy May Gleason. Freddie De Jesus. Kean Terrell Reiter. Laura Kristen Janetti. Alicia Mary Thomas. Kelly Elise Peterson. Elvis Minga. Charles David George Booter. Bassiana Parkinson. Tiffany Lisa Webley. Wendy Yvonne Thompson Peterson. Brandon Dewan Hubrins. Michelle Dana Castagna. Caitlin Marie Bento. President Toro, it's my honor to present to you the candidates for master's degrees. But first, let's say congratulations to the sixth year candidates. <laughs> candidates for master's degrees will first come from the School of Education and Professional Studies, followed by the School of Business. Dean Fitzgerald will again join you in recognizing the candidates for master's degrees. 
Carla L.A. Dunkley. Delilah Cruz. Joanne Soto Melendez. Jessica Dawn Harris. Eddie Lynn Cardona. Jessenia Medina. Stephanie Fasciano. Emily Ann Stockwell. Heather Lynn Dickman. Maya Ma. Paul Michael Ryan. Christopher Edward Kartnick. Zarenda. Nicole Jocelyn Magnano. Stephanie Pino Tavares. Melissa Elizabeth Ober. Alyssa Renee McDermott. Karen Elizabeth Posig. Erica Marie Graff. Robert Eric Jokel. Robert Lorenzo Aresti. <laughs> Ashley N. Motinho. Lindsay Taylor D'Angelo. Stephanie Ray Williams. Alexa Taylor Blanchard. Andrea Janet Giacchino. Lauren Foligno. Nathan Gerald Emery. Abigail Elizabeth Hancock. Emma Elizabeth Walsh. Michael Richard Sampson. Graciela Guzman. Lauren Marie O'Brien. Rachel Lynn Noto. Amber Serrano. Kate Alexandra Leonardo. Ryan Buda. Nicholas Gregory Boretsky. Eileen Andrea Poso. Rachel Jane Meerman. Kristen Brooks Scavoni. Jennifer Leah Haugen. Caitlin Genevieve Korowchik. Jocelyn Nina Fernandez. Merle Jones Jr. Elijah Anthony Oliver. Julissa Maria Pabon. Marcus Santiago Morales. Courtney Sharice Mayberry.
Monique Beeson. Brett Stanley Grala. Keith David Coyne. Goslick. Luisa Monson Racinos. Erica Grizel Velez. Michael Germain Peterson. Aaron Wesley Geddes. Roseanne Vaughn. Gerald Troche. Jennifer Catherine Finland. Jack Anthony Paulino. Joanne M. Jarvis. Stephen Richard Rocapriori. Maria J. White. Jennifer Lynn Laner. Barbara Lipka. Mary Lynn Athas. Brianna Lee Hansen. Fatima Youssef. Kathleen Perry Asselin. Denise Marie Martel. Jacqueline Marie Piagesi. Candice Alicia Caesar Haywood. Judith C. Kulakovsky. Sandra Lerzundi Price. Lori Ann Leonard Lombard. Tracy Sue Howland. Donna M. Bryce. Andrea Loper Maluski. Vanessa Lee Cosme. Ashley Christina Marie Quinones. Kayana Tyane Whitehead. Sherry Shields. Stephanie Teresa Strobino. Lindsay Danielle Lavero. Marie A. Bennett. Megan A. Dauphiny. Kristen M. Wagner.
Michael Warren Bantle. Anastasia Rose Godreau. Evan Jacob Gross. Emily Catherine McNally. Christine Popelka. Andrew Fisher. Zachary John Cord Bowling. Greg Rochowski. Chelsea Dubry. Kimberly Allison Campitelli. Jennifer Lynn Kerstetter. Jennifer Lynn Valentine. Janice Marie Monty. Sarah Ansley Bernstein. Michelle Robinson Reed. Ashley Brooke Violet. Eric Deach. Michael Rivera. Brianna Lee Zimmerman. Abby Elizabeth Mercedes Kenor. Caitlin Ann Murphy. Christine Ilona Ramirez. Gwen Marie Little. Ashley Jean Tatro. Lauren Irene Tata. Jillian Louise Ellipson. Jessica Maddie Bridgeforth. Sarah Jude Yeiser. Bellin Valley Bernabe. Robert William Jones III. Jacqueline Morrison Mayer. Johanna Elizabeth Regan. Lauren Ann Elizabeth Kanopka. John M. Bork. Erin Christine Lima. Lindsay Michelle Klein. Heather Nicole Glazuski. Michaela Jane Wells. Julie Diane Trifone. Thomas Joseph Casello. Niall Alexander Pelkey Rosie. Anthony James Valence. Patrick Joseph Walsh. Olivia Taylor Mondo. Luis Miguel Romero. Geneva Ellis. Ryan James Carson. Samantha Ann Burroughs. 
Maria Jose Zamora Layton. Beverly Borgos. Casey Lee Gorman. Pamela Marie Sheck. Timothy Frederick Granger. Derek Dixon. Michael Kwanza. Paulina Natalia Check. Brittany L. Waller. Norshonda Renee Warren. Christian Lee Clute. Nicholas Edward Dakila. Alyssa Marie Volpicella. Pamusa Mene. Fabio Francis Verna. Kien Guinbi Wilson. Chipasha Chisanga. Darisabel Alamo. Alamo. Kelly B. Smith. Emily Diana Trumbly. Patricia Veronica Benet. Jessica Dorothy Jenkins. Anthony Curtis Peterson. Kate Margaret Moscato. Kelly J. Williams. Brendan Michael Gibbs. Dawn Marie Joseph. Khalil Mohammed Saleh. Pavel Sakowski. Caitlin Elizabeth Morales. Aneta Pytel. Jessica Ashley Silva. Ketu Jamin Shaw. Nobuko Tokunaga. Noreen Alice May Grice. Rafael Sadowski. Pedro A. Faya. Elsie A. Primozic. Christopher Paralambus. Rupesh Parajuli. Sheila Julius. Jacqueline Michelle Tran. Cynthia Claudio. John Winfield Bautel. Leticia, Leticia A. Hershad. Linda Brooks Ansara. 
Rebecca A. Lee. Laura Pizarro Dutil. Ellie Vanessa Rodriguez. Shafe Tom. Matthew John Walker. Bradley Roy Beausoleil. Chris Riverson. Elijah Henry Bolas. Rachel Francis Nicolosi. Gary Anthony Costa. April Austin Blazer. Timothy Carl Viola. Nicholas Christian Valeca. Congratulations to all of our master's candidates. <laughs> President Toro, it is my honor to present to you the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees. Dr. Kim Costellos will join you in recognizing the bachelor's degrees from the School of Education and Professional Studies. Elizabeth Ann Willett Cum Laude. Caitlin Diana Rose Orberndorfer, Summa Cum Laude. Catherine Kotuk. Erin Elizabeth Bazzini, summa cum laude. David Stanley Olekna II. Scott Paul Martin, magna cum laude. Mary Beth Simone. Andrew G. Petraca, summa cum laude. Jordan C. Hagenau, cum laude. Mary Kate Riley McCracken, magna cum laude. Megan Ryan Sullivan, cum laude. Gretchen Marino, cum laude. Michelle Marie Ming. Dejanae M. Carpenter. Jerrica Camille Samuels. Henry Condi Myers. Melissa Wallitson. Brandy Christine Patron. Jessica Lynn Falzone. Amelia Filipkowska, cum laude. Sabrina E. Danuzzo, cum laude. Hannah Lynn Steppas. Radhika Ale Magar. Melanie Perales. Barbara Nisbarala. Jessica Maria Rufino Tineo. Orenthia Channer, cum laude. Marion Nakaji. Becky N. Nikwe. Cassidy Ray McBride. Sarah Jennifer Bennett. Amanda Jane Permanat, magna cum laude. Lindsay Marie Lampignana, cum laude. Catherine Deanna Miller. Sarah Marie Gosselin. Amy Elizabeth Silbo, cum laude. Jessica Faye Puya, cum laude. 
Samantha Renee Hannigan. Mary Elizabeth Nadal. Julia Cynthia St. Pierre. Lindsay May Pelletier, cum laude. William Joseph Bergeron. Alyssa Ann Bankston. Shelly Elizabeth Artruck, summa cum laude. Miranda Lynn Welsh, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Jane Carlson, magna cum laude. Nicole Brianne Sylvain, cum laude. Allison Melissa Sarasinski. Daniel John Spargarin, summa cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Ilnicki, magna cum laude. Rachel Victoria Horrigan. Elena Panayata Rocco. Amy Lynn Fink, magna cum laude. Megan Alyssa Santiago. Nadine T. Chambers. Ashley Marie Domac. Michael Thomas Tory. Lindsay Taylor Humphrey, magna cum laude. Angela Rose Cipriano. Sarah Nicole McLaughlin, cum laude. Melissa Figueroa. Haley Brooke Nelson. Ray Jackson. Danielle Lynn Saunders. Jennifer Kristen Bailey, magna cum laude. Victoria Ashley Karras. Crystal Amber Fox. Brianna Della Patton, magna cum laude. Sarah Nicole Stepherak. Aislinn Brown. Asia Monet Downer, magna cum laude. Moriam Damalola Badiri. Shemaine Latrice Shepherd, cum laude. Aisha LaShawn Denson. Ashley J. Edwards. <laughs> Liana Danielle DiMartino. Natalie Marie Cuevas. Ashley Renee Soler. Melanie Victoria Marquez. Denicia Helen Harris. Zadria Barnes, magna cum laude. Elijah Malcolm James Thompson. Flavia Muka. Jennifer Sarah Stewart. Stephanie Lynn Morales. Alyssa Laura Jasunas. Shelly Ann Mallinson. Kathy Olszewski. Jaina Lynn Roy. Tandika S. White. Elizabeth Bodil Jensen. Emily Lofbury. Jocelyn Joanne Conchanya Berrios. Angel Munoz Velasquez. Abigail Victoria Castle. Sabrina Mae Morin. Katharina M. Alisea. Daniel Rosario. John Zab Khan. Hussein Khan. Sarah Nicole Kubeta. Alexa Shane Jacobs. Michelle T.L. Shalike. Kayla Marie Champagne. Raymond Joseph Rabuska III, cum laude. Forrest Nicholas Zerpolo. Sarah Way Romagius. Avery Elizabeth Spencer. Sydney Jeanette White, cum laude. Rachel Lynn Cunningham. Jessica Cook Covello, magna cum laude. Karina Garcia. Michaela Rose Renee Menard. Kathleen Joy Cologne. Stephanie Lee Kowalski, magna cum laude. Sarah Ashley Jager. Lanerta Dabula. Jillian Ann Testa, cum laude. Jenna Nicole Luponio. Melissa Nicole Hallis. 
Alicia Ann Robarge, magna cum laude. Mark Francis Mancini. Rachel Lynn Franzi. Michaela Muriel Distasio, cum laude. Samantha Lynn Little. Marissa Lynn Ferretti, magna cum laude. Brooke Christine Whitman. Lauren Avery Sitaro. Chantel Elizabeth Morin, cum laude. Gabrielle Nancy Sebastio. Sarah Elizabeth Ryan, magna cum laude. Amber Lynn Dumas. Brittany Mendelson. Casey Lynn Correa. Nicole Catherine McComick. Michelle R. Magora. Ashley Maria Caldera. Vincenzo Antonio Savarino. Brandon Kevin Elvas, magna cum laude. Derek James Orange, cum laude. Timothy Charles Castelli. Zachary Toro, cum laude. Michael Luis Avenoso, summa cum laude. Eileen Margaret Zadrozny. Ronald G. Black. Timothy James Kent, Jr. John Crandall. Evan Paul Laser. Lusana Brambila. Gabrielle Ann Siato, cum laude. Amanda Ketley Custodio Foria. Daphne Santos, cum laude. Kimberly Haradia, cum laude. Kayla Ann Dandelski. Shelby Lynn Carey. Stephen Michael Arell, magna cum laude. Kayla Marie Birdsey. Jared William Fellows. Eric Richard Ott, cum laude. Eric Charles Cooper. Ardem Akulin. Tom Drozdowski, cum laude. Vestini Sanchez. <laughs> Vanessa Veronica Brights. George Delarose, summa cum laude. Paul Jericho Santos. Bea Asuncion. Kelly Lynn McCartney, cum laude. Nicole Marie Nato. Jurat Nagelit. Michelle Catherine DiLoretto, cum laude. Sarah Dahlberg, magna cum laude. Danielle Marie Calzone. Chloe Connor. Semra Eppendich. Kelly McKenzie Potter. Thomas Mark Allen, magna cum laude. Ashley Lynn Owen, cum laude. Mava Elizabeth Avisos, cum laude. Emma D. Lovett. Tyler Andrew Quinn. Thomas Henry Curtin. Austin High. Jessica L. LaRose, magna cum laude. Stacy Lynn Del Donna. Stephanie Alexandra Zemko. Valentina Chacal. Natalia Kachkusik. Brianna Nicole Thomas Cum Laude. Michelle Rojas Carvalho. Trixie Diane Piaquinto Parcon. Sarah Elizabeth Paul. Annette Brosca. Renee Lee Mitchell. Andrea Emilien Sturgiotis, cum laude. Sister Colette C. Meriton. James Tessier Judy. Trisha Ashley Genest. Ernestine C. Lamoureux, cum laude. Emily K. Rose, cum laude. Sarah Ann Wysocki. Colleen B. Patticula, magna cum laude. Carla Sue Plord, cum laude. Kareem Derek L. Ayub. Antoine Dominic Mack. 
Matthew Ryan Nicolari. Allison Ann Condo, cum laude. Julia M. Bickford. Allison Cosette Connors. Macy M. Fennelson. Shyla Aaron Boutelier. Myra Serna. Kelly Jean Linlaw. Gina Marie Squitieri. Amanda Marie Seaman. Tyler Henry Gamber. Anthony Ramiro Gonsalves. Evan Peter Thomas. Stephen Emil Miller. Joshua David Petoskey. Drew Marino Cobin. Joshua C. Conniff. Richard Frank Sablitz. Charlene Alexandra Hausman, magna cum laude. Seth DeLong Miller, cum laude. Brandon Jack Rain. Kamari Kadim Houghton. Adam Michael Romano. Krista Lynn Young. Lee Ellen Hollahan. Sean Taylor Lozada. Jeffrey Charles Vincelette. Michael G. Bedell. Matthew Leroy Bradley. Daniel G. Hebert. Victoria Page Constantine. Brittany H. Kamara. Emily Jennifer Sargent, summa cum laude. Stephanie Lee Shalevitz. Nicholas J. Garland, cum laude. Kylie Ray Sullivan, magna cum laude. Marissa Ann Catronio. Anne Marie K. Durham. Congratulations to the candidates from the School of Education and Professional Studies. <laughs> President Toro, Dean Kent, Dr. Ken Colwell will join you in recognizing the candidates for bachelor's degrees from the School of Business. Marcel Devin Barnaby. Laura Elizabeth Buonacore, cum laude. Courtney B. Ushana. Asia Nate Johns, magna cum laude. Alina A. Smith. Olga Rose Mars. Christine Rebecca Rice. Alexis Debriel Duda. Hannah Josephine Erb. Gavin Lewis Caravetta. Griffin Robert Girardi. John Davison Forsyth, cum laude. Amadeo Raymond Ruyu, summa cum laude. Alexander Joseph Amuso. Brianna Lynn Flattery, magna cum laude. Lily Pierre Delora. Nicholas Del Greco. Andres Alberto Macias. Dylan Antonio Virgin. Ariel Ivan Diaz. Denison Jesse Alvarado. Matthew Thomas Weimer, magna cum laude. Jeremy Joseph Buck, cum laude. Jordan Andrew Gilbert, cum laude. Naomi Alexandra Menard. Kayla Marie Ortiz. Ayang Tiffany Jeong. Brooke Michelle Phillips. Raphael Manuel Phillips III, cum laude. David P. Tran, summa cum laude. Christina Marie Carvalho, magna cum laude. Ryan Maurice Taylor. Donovan Raekwon Tremondillis. Anthony James Mara. George Percy Hendrickson, Jr. Charmaine Goff. Kristen Carey Gilbert. Javon Elmore. Randall V. Laguerre. 
Nicole Aulate Williams. Kiana Nicole Stokes. Kyle Weeks. Kelly Turner Jr. Susan Jean Matarazzo, cum laude. Nicholas Jack Landon. Brian S. Baylor. Julia Elizabeth McCamish. Elizabeth C. Figueroa. Deandra Nicole Dakers. Kimberly Nicole Lawton, magna cum laude. Caroline Galvin. Brittany Hope Colonna. Iman Musari. Ramiz Mehmedovic. Muammar Talovic, magna cum laude. Vincent Paul O'Brien. Keenan Hodzic. Adnan Hamidovic. Jacob Benjamin Homar. Juella Aicha. David Alexander Morone Cum Laude. Darren Shane Horner. Isaiah J. Isakani Cum Laude. Jayla Mariah Payne. Marusa K. Philantarakis Cum Laude. Vanessa Renee Camp. Catherine Delfino. Scott Jeffrey Butson. Jessica Danielle Good. Andrew Edward Collins, summa cum laude. Andrew Joseph Shipper. Samuel Figueroa Jr., magna cum laude. Shejan Coy, magna cum laude. Adonis Langual. Richard Manuel Castillo. Yao Chen, magna cum laude. Lauren Doral. Nemapridi Gunesh. Magdalena Bohenik. Cassandra J. Nichols, cum laude. Alina Tanvir. Ashley Nicole Booten. Raekwon Robinson, cum laude. Mackenzie L. Weeborg. Katie Lynch Noble, magna cum laude. Montana Cheyenne Cody. Salma T. Malik. Tony Ann Marie Wilson. Randy Arnulfo Barahona. Hiral Jainatalal Patel. Kevin K. Patel. David Robert Scow. Connor John Lay. Muhammad Zahirovich. Adriar Golik. Vanessa McKeever Gonzalez. Matthew David McCluskey, magna cum laude. Peter Anthony Borowie. Ryan Joseph Bradley. Christopher Rivera. Matthew Clinton Becker, summa cum laude. Calvin Lewis Hines II, magna cum laude. Trevor Sebastian Fry. George James Emanuel. Victoria Helena Solcheski. Victoria Liardi, magna cum laude. Keneal McGregor. Adam Jowitz. Brendan Michael Crew, cum laude. Thomas H. Garrett. Richard Darrell Azarigian. William Patrick Tisha. Nicole Michelle Lipkin, magna cum laude. Stephen D. Faulkner. Lauren Oresco. Kevon Fife. Rodrigo A. Castillo. Jacob Michael Caruso. Anthony Joseph Campanelli. Danielle Schunard. Jacqueline Novak. Jill Anna Larson, cum laude. Luana Batista Lima. Jessica Lynn Russo. Paul Eric Campbell. 
Brandon Charles Strickland. Ryan Patrick Joyce Cum Laude. Joshua Anthony Rivera, Summa Cum Laude. Jennifer Lynn Maselli. Nafisatu Lamy Mutakawil. Kimberly Anna K. Green. Dante Romario Brooks. Deja Monet Turner. Ida Vanessa Long Villarreal. Sarika Chwetha. Nicholas Francis Faniola. Siddharth Awasti. Lauren Kathleen McLaughlin. Lindsay Marie Lavasser. Samantha Shaloon Alu. Joseph Loretti. David S. Tudelo. Darren J. Newbury Jr. Zachary Gratole. William John Siboes. Courtney June McSwinney, cum laude. Marissa Margaret Webb. Mary Elizabeth Adamet, cum laude. Patricia Marta Puka, summa cum laude. Jasmine Rose Granja. Daria Nicole Thompson. Eric C. Cummings. Catherine A. Walden. Edward Davies Miller. Matthew Andrew Klazuski, cum laude. Lucas J. Fisher. Alec John Rivera. Daniel Skowronek. Natoya Salome Campbell. Romina S. Andrade. Manuel Osia Jimenez, magna cum laude. Merita Kuka Hoxha. Kevin Thomas Mariano. Amanda Louise Anthony. Douglas Michael Demorali. Eliana Nasca. Amina Adjic. Deshaun Jakai Whittingham. Connor James Brennan, magna cum laude. An Nok Fuang Nujin, summa cum laude. Jessa T. Bishop, cum laude. Rachel Ann Flodquist. Emily Ann Ballard, cum laude. Eric Matthew Lee, summa cum laude. Tyler James Owen. Joseph Elias Cartagena. Jeremy Willis. Kayleen Alexandra Pfeiffer, magna cum laude. Neil Norman Barrow. Rachel Veronica Cahan, magna cum laude. Hunter Canale Beckford. Robert Evan Cantor. Nicole J. Hyder. Tenzin Kumkiab. Jesse Hart Moroyoki, cum laude. Trevor Tema. Joseph Alexander Freitas. Michael Philip McShane. Mahmoud Arumahi. Suma Niharika Chakrav Damula, magna cum laude. Manuel Luis Perez. Julia Ann Lombardo. Brittany Joe McNulla, magna cum laude. Anthony David Sebastianelli. Matthew A. Trevathan. Austin John Forauer. Ryan Elliott. Christopher Paul Samiotis, magna cum laude. Michael Gondola. Matthew Zoll. Samuel Ducey, cum laude. Shreykumar S. Shet. Joseph A. Fortuna. Michael Alexander Stilau. Eddie Rivera. Sarah Renee Thompson, cum laude. Michelle Marie Thibodeau, magna cum laude. David Anthony Sinti. Lauren Haley Shalevitz, cum laude. Lauren Marie Razil. Jarrett Tyler Dolagala. Alina Jackie Grabner. Krista Jean Tierney. Dean Fillmore Lockery. Kyle Blake 
Anderson. Daniel Edward Benke. Andrew William Hinckley. Louis Frank Basile III. Brianna Nicole Scaldaferi, magna cum laude. Alexandra Zampini, cum laude. Jennifer Ella Victoria Capperkey, cum laude. Parker David Soltis. Alex Christian Hasselberger. Michael Salvatore Vesicchio, summa cum laude. Brendan Michael Hardigan. Rhoda Kate Alfred. Kevin Patrick Lehman. William Edward Kremple. Kofi Ajapon Amangwa. Ashley Alexis Howard. Giuseppe Carlo Milardo. Amanda Ann Carano. Timothy John Zakrazuski. Molly Jean Carey. Austin John Trainer. Samuel J. Borecki. Tyler Daniel Lathrum. Cum laude. Kyle Robert Welsh. Molly Claire Breen, summa cum laude. Madison Michael Lynn Smith, summa cum laude. Anna Tyra. Bruce Patrick Bloking. Christopher Brian Wieger, cum laude. Pretender Singh. Chris James Vichus, cum laude. Kristen Alia Echeverria. Ashanique Owens. Javon Lloyd Dakers. Alexis Alexandrea Murray. Alap S. Amin. Isadora V. Bailey. Lindsay E. Jacobs. Randolph Jose Brito Arias. William John Simbala, cum laude. Anthony Armand Picagli, cum laude. Enzo Dachi. Ravindra Rai. Jose Ernesto Diaz. Raul Vasquez. Isaiah Henry Ramos. Tyler M. Burr. Elliot Paris Gang. Jonathan M. Walker. Florentina Nicoletta Cecconi. Leah Elizabeth Froschino. Sarah Jessica McHugh, summa cum laude. Dwayne Edwin Campbell. Stephanie Dawn Carlson. Robert Donald Scandora. Kelly Ann Monk. Elizabeth Yagello. Yeah, yeah. Abu Bakr Jamil. Sachin Sani Chara. Kathy T. Dong. Hao V. Chuong. Ali Medi Zaidi. On Syed Ali. Daniel Andres Tincopa, summa cum laude. Joseph R. Gaida. Teresa London. Tina Ki Fo. Lauren Bernadette De Rosa. Emma Lynn Shaker. Jillian James Bronji, magna cum laude. Aaron Jean Vexi. Summa cum laude. Ryan Scott Catone. Daniel John Catania. Oscar D. Valencia. Anna Gail Goulet. Fiza S. Avon. Andrea Flores Carolini. Muhammad Chaudhry. Eric Michael Zergabel. Matthew Thomas Fox. Rena Josephine Juan Yun Charles, summa cum laude. Forum Amin. Deev Jot. Hassan Khan. Sabrina Garcia Nunez. 
Edith Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Chanel Lu Fon, summa cum laude. Michal Maslinski. Christopher Eugene Wyka. Spetin Batiki. Casey Frederick Rappel, Jr. James Francis Malitsky, Jr. Abdella Zalmont. Adialua Hezekia Oyedele, magna cum laude. Sasana Ashley Binyi. Patricia Ann Marie Allen Brown. Cheryl Singletary. Cindy Lochter. Christopher Scott Pelletier. Alex Joseph Angulo. Kiana Ross. Patrick Brew. Saif Aldeen Wael Zidane. Sedina Bejic, magna cum laude. I wish to thank Dr. Gil Gelati, professor in the Department of English, and his daughter Cecilia, a CCSU graduate student majoring in English, for reading the names of our candidates today. And a special thank you to cellist Sarah Harvey, who was also awarded a bachelor's degree today. Please join me in thanking all three of them. <laughs> President Toro, I present to you the candidates for graduation from Central Connecticut State University for spring 2018. Candidates, please rise. At this time, at this time, in acknowledgement of your achievement, please change your, your tassel from right to left, where your heart is. Thus, signifying this important milestone in your lives. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing the CCSU class of 2018. Congratulations. Our, as our newest alumni, you are connected to your past you are connected to each other, be connected to your community, and don't forget to stay connected with us, your central family. To all our family, friends, and guests, you want to get your cameras ready for our, our finale. Congratulations to all now go out and tell the world what our central family is all about. I hereby declare the 2018 commencement exercise adjourned. See,
Good. 